Well, hello, this is uh, Luke with CatsAndCarp.com, and I'm going to show you how to make some really great winter uh, carp bait. Now, this isn't only a winter carp bait, but uh, in the winter time, this is some real hot stuff. Basically, what we're doing here is we're blending up some um, just normal sandwich bread, just crumbling it up real fine. You can see there it's uh, loose. You know, this, it's not stale bread. This is just normal fresh bread. And we're going to mix in some sweet corn. Uh, now, sweet corn works a little bit better than the deer corn in the winter time because it's a little easier for the carp to digest. So, um, and there's not as many small fish around to uh, pick it up and and steal the bait. So, I tend to shift from deer corn and feed corn in the summertime to sweet corn in the winter time. So basically the important thing here is to squeeze as much of the water out as you can. So you can see me, I'm, I've got this big ball of sweet corn in a paper towel. Squeeze out as much of that water as you can. All right. And you're going to want to get as much water out as you can because you're going to be using this with a PVA system. And that water will dissolve your PVA. So, you, the, so the key to making your PVA work well with this mix is getting as much water as you can off the sweet corn. So you spread it out there on a, after you've squeezed out all the water, you spread it out on a paper towel, give it a quick uh, wipe down, try to pick up any extra moisture clinging to the kernels. And the better job you do with this, the, the better things will go. But just make sure you aren't crushing the kernels, you're just trying to get the water off them. Now once you've got this all squared away and you've got uh, as much of the surface water off as you think you can get take the corn and uh, spread it out on a cookie sheet or on the counter or on a plate or something and let it air dry for a little while you know about a about a half half a day three you know should do it just fine you don't want them to start shriveling up but you want them to dry off as best you can and the better you can do with drying them the better the better life is going to going to go. Then you're going to coat them in something. This right here is the Nash uh, sweet corn uh, and uh, flavoring additive. Um, and uh, basically what you're doing is you're trying to create a, a, a PVA friendly barrier around the kernels so that that water doesn't melt the PVA and gives it a little extra, uh, little extra scent. So I use just a bit of this uh, Nash uh, sweet uh, corn liquid but uh, corn oil, corda goo, um, or any of your favorite glugs would work just as well as long as it's PVA friendly and you're just coating the kernels in that um, so that you've got a layer of PVA friendly liquid around the kernels which contain a lot of water. And uh, once you've got the kernels set up nice go ahead and dump a good chunk of them in there with the, the bread. You don't want to overkill it. And the fewer kernels you put in, the better your PVA will, will, will last. But, uh, but you don't want to underdo it either. So. But at any rate, once you've got your, your bread and your kernels, go and mix it up really good. Get it all nice and evenly dispersed. Uh, once again, just don't crush the kernels. So here's the uh, Corda PVA Funnel web system. I'm using their large size and this is how we're going to make our stick mix. Um, so at any rate, you're going to take this uh, stuff, uh, this bread and, and uh, sweet corn and uh, dump it down in there. Just about one uh, moderate uh, handful is about all you want. And use the plunger, but once again, just don't overdo it. If you start squishing the kernels, water will come out, and that'll melt your PVA. So you want to pack it in there, but not crush the corn. Just kind of squeeze it with your hand a little bit. Twist the ball. You want it to be nice and tight, and uh, you're good to go. Now, if you do it right, if you've dried your sweet corn properly, and uh, you've done all these steps, that, that ball of PVA will last a good good long time uh, a couple hours or uh, so you can go and do this right before you head out or, or while you're on the bank and set it aside and it's not a not a big deal I just go and trim the edges up, edges up and if you do a real good job uh, it'll it'll stay a long time but uh, if your your kernels are wet that PVA bag will dissolve off too quickly 
uh, before it gets into the water. So just make sure you've dried your kernels off, you've coated them good, and you're, you'll be good to go. Um, so see here, this is my uh, stick mix hook link. Just go and you bait it up, get some a uh, couple pieces of corn uh, there on the hair. Take your baiting needle, shove it through uh, the bag, uh, hook it up to your your stick mix hook link, close the, the gate latch on that, and pull it back through. And then what you do is you clip that onto your main line and take that hook and pull it into the bottom and tuck it in there so the point is buried in the bottom and there you go you've got a beautiful little stick mix that's perfect for winter carp fishing um, this is just a real beauty um, and what you do is you take some quart of goo and you pour pour it in here with a bag of a couple of those PVA balls that you've made up and uh, that helps them soak in some of that flavor and uh, a little bit of corn oil not bad too just don't overdo it um, just just a little bit and you mix that all in there with your pre-prepared uh, PVA bags and uh, toss them around so everything gets coated and it just adds a nice little flavor but um, also uh, one thing to just keep note of if you use too much of this oil the PVA may not dissolve as quickly in cold water so any anyway, rate, but that's a nice little carp fishing tip. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks.